Whisperer Cesar Milan was in town over the weekend to host a two-day show at the Marina Bay Sands. He also made a stopover at the Animal Lovers League, a local animal shelter, on Monday morning. Okay. The dog you see in front of you, his name is Mango. He hasn't been out of his kennel in seven years. So as you can see, Caesar has come in and he has put his magical touch uh, to the dog. And he is now seeing daylight for the first time in seven years. What Caesar did was, he put a leash on Mango and uh, let him throw a fit, get through his fit, and then he brought him out of, the, out of his kennel and ran back in again and came out again. So he did it twice to uh, re-establish the fact that you know it's safe to come out of the kennel. Seven years inside a kennel. So it's almost like a concentration camp without the knowledge of being that he's gonna die, right? Seven years. The whole point of a rescuer is to help a dog. But that's the thing with uh, a lot of rescue organizations around the world, the heart is big, but the knowledge is this small. Especially for a dog like Mango. So Mango, he learned that if he puts up a fight and he shows the most vicious face he can show, people will stop. So he learned to control people, right, by showing this behavior. But what they need to know is that before you see peace, you're going to see this behavior, right? And and so that's what I th that's what I thought the um, the the, uh, the volunteers that this is all okay. And so another thing that I taught them is the mango, his problem is when he sees the leash. So before you even put the leash, just let him see the leash and let him relax. So you spend more time just showing the leash and then getting the leash close to him and let him feel it. So it feels like it's more like a massage than actually it's gonna go into his neck because he's already expecting the leash on his neck. So you're breaking it down for him, see it? And then after you put the leash on it, he's gonna do all of these things like a, like, have you seen um, crocodiles when they put the rope and they throw themselves around? Oh, it's normal because they're not supposed to have a rope, right? So it's absolutely normal that a dog rejects the experience of a leash, right? We are the only species that put leashes on animals. So when, a, when an elephant adopts an, a dog, which has been cases, he never puts a leash on a dog. See it? So it's an invisible conversation. Human is the only one that puts physical things. So expect that a dog is going to reject it. It's normal. But that's when people feel, oh my God, I'm hurting him. But that's, so to me, the way people hurt dogs is by not understanding the psychology behind of it. Right? So now that's how Mango spent seven years behind that kennel. So it's an honor for me to take somebody out and show Singapore, you know, in one day to Mango. You see, a Mexican guy show up, you know, a Singaporean dog, what Singapore looks like. <laughs> Air rollerblades. <laughs> I know that's something that a lot of Singaporeans don't do, right? Rollerblade with dogs. I didn't see one. Yeah, Have you seen? Not, no, not no right? Yeah. Not very common. But hopefully they do it. <laughs> so that was the experience. It took a little time. It took more time me presenting the leash uh, than the rest of it. And then I put him on the pool, which was awesome.